Hello and welcome to this quick demonstration and overview of Compliance Go. I want to show you real quick some of the awesome things that you can do to help increase your compliance and to save time and money with your stormwater compliance through Compliance Go. Now, when you first log into Compliance Go, you have this awesome dashboard right here. Whether you have one site or a thousand sites, you're gonna be able to see all of them on this dashboard with a quick overview and with little icons to show you exactly what needs to be done on those sites. Your dashboard is really your working project management location. You can look at all of your projects and sites, or you can quickly see any due or late inspections that you have. You can also see any sites that have due or late action items, expiring permits, or weather alerts if you have those set up on your sites. If we look at the due inspections section here, it will automatically adjust to only show me the sites where I have due inspections, and I can go through and see every site that has a due inspection or task. Once I complete that task or inspection, they will fall off of this list. So you can use this daily or weekly to as a work order system to see exactly what needs to be done, what inspections are due. So let's go ahead and jump in to one of these projects. And you can see right away that here is the due inspection. Now I can go ahead and start that inspection, but first I wanna talk a little bit about this site page. You can visit this site page anytime, not just when you are going to conduct an inspection. You can see in the inspection section, what's due, what's in progress. And if there are any inspections that don't have a specific due date, they'll also be available for you to conduct there. You can quickly in the second section here, check out the inspection history. You can see all of the inspections that have ever been conducted on this project. Uh, you can download them if you need to. You can send them out to the notification recipients. Whatever you need to do, you can do that from here in the inspection history. You can also export this complete inspection history to a CSV file if you need to send out a full inspection history of the site. You can also jump right in and view all of the action items that are opened or closed on the site. If any of them need to be closed, you can jump right into that action item. You can make edits to the action item if you need to. You can add a note if you want to, or you can simply close out the action item. Say this is complete, and it was completed by Hank, and then I'll close the action item out. Now that action item is closed and I am up to date with all of my corrective actions on this site. They have all been taken care of and closed out. I can take a look at the entire history of the action items on this site. I'll be able to see that. I can also send out my action log report uh, if I had any that were still open, I can send that out to my notification recipients. Other than that, over here we have our documentation section. Here's where you'll access the site maps. We'll get back to that in just a second. Uh, this is where you can add and update permits. I have this permit that expired just a couple days ago. I'm gonna go ahead and update that here and let everybody know that I've extended that out another year. 2021 there we go all right so now i'm good to go for another year i can go back in that it, that permit i'll save that and that permit will no longer show up as being expired that will take care of another task that i needed to do i can also check out my documents here any kind of documents or plans or training logs uh, or anything that you need to keep here you can keep in this uh, site document section you can organize them by the type of document that they are and everything will be available. Uh, you can send out a link uh, to, to view those documents if you need to. This site page right here is a wonderful place for you to go ahead and organize and keep track of all of your permits, all of your plans, all of your documents, anything that you need to. You can add site logs. If you have a, a certain thing that needs to be done every day or every week on the site that's not really an inspection, you can add a log in here to keep track of that. A lot of sites require just a daily site check, which is not really an inspection, but you can add a log just to make sure that those daily site checks are being completed. If you need a, a stabilization log or something where you have to keep track of which areas of the site have been completed and stabilized, you can add those. The logs are completely customizable. You can make them however you want. 
Here in information, you can see the notification recipients. This is where we can add anybody that we want. Any email address in the world, we can add it in here to receive notifications for the sites. Of course, you're gonna wanna let them know that they're gonna be receiving notifications, uh, but you can add in anyone here to receive those notifications. You can select exactly what it is that you want them to receive. Then we have our site information. It shows all of that stuff that's required in your construction permit or in your industrial permit to have available for the site, the contact person, uh, the phone number, things like that. That's all right here in the site information section. The view only information is really cool as well. This allows you to send out the link of this site to someone, to anyone, and they will be able to jump in here and view. Now you can see this is a view only version of this site. They will be able to come in here and view the documents, the logs, the inspection history. They won't be able to conduct anything or do any activities, but they'll be able to see that information. So this is a great way to go ahead and have that. You can view or you can print this off as well and put it up next to your SWIP sign. This is, this is gonna give anybody who comes out to the site, instead of having to ask for uh, how to get the SWIP binder or having to have uh, the SWIP binder uh, right out there available that could be taken or could be ruined by the weather, anything like that, this site notice is gonna let them know who they can contact for the site, as well as giving them a link to jump into that view only version of the site. And then the final piece of information here is the reports. You can print off an action log report that'll show you all of the actions that have been taken care of in this certain time period. You, can, you also have your site activity report, which is gonna show when your inspections were completed. If there was any weather events that were completed, those are gonna show up on there as well. If there was any days that had rain or if there were any audit inspections, anything like that, all of that's gonna show up on your uh, site activity report. Additionally, you have your inspection reports. You can look at to see what's going on on the site. You can see missed inspections. You can see when any of those missed inspections occurred. This is a demonstration site, so there's lots of missed inspections. Most of your sites probably are not gonna have any in here because we're always on track to keep in, uh, taking care of those since we have our dashboard system to help us know exactly what to do. You can see if there were any weather events that were completed. We, again, this is a demonstration site, so it looks like we don't have any in there, uh, but you can see what's due and what's coming up as well. The final one is the map history report. We'll talk about that when we get into the mapping system in just a minute. Before we jump into an in inspection, I wanna show you just what this would look like if you were on a mobile device. This is a, a web app is what it's called. It works on an internet browser in any device that you have. It'll work on your iPhone, your Android phone, your tablet, your, your laptop, um, your smart watch and probably wouldn't work very well on your smart watch, but it would work on pretty much any device that has a browser and is connected to the internet. And if you shrink it down here, you'll see that this is still perfectly usable, perfectly easy to navigate on any type of device. Now, if I jump into the inspection here, this is one of the features that Compliance Go has that you won't find anywhere else. Our inspection forms are tailored and customized so that they can be used on any device. It's super easy, I don't know about you, but sometimes my fingers are a little too big for that. Any little answers on a PDF, if, I, if I'm trying to pull up a PDF form on my, um, on my device, sometimes it's hard to click on and type into those little fields. So here we have it laid out so that it's really easy. The buttons are big, they're easy to read, they're easy to see, we can go ahead and make any uh, changes that we need to on the inspection. If I need to add a corrective action item, it's right up here at the top. I can add any type of corrective action that I need to. And if I'm out on the site with my phone or device, I can quickly add a photo by just taking a picture if I want to. Um, that's completely optional. You don't have to take any pictures if you don't want to. I can also add my device's location. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna drop a pin right where I'm standing. So the next time somebody comes out, they can uh, get directions right to there. I can just drop this pin and they'll be able to navigate directly to the location where I'm at. I can also add a description in there to help if I need to. One of the other features that you won't find in other softwares is the ability to close this action item off right as soon as you're creating it. 
Now, what this does for you is it allows you to show on your inspection reports that you're identifying when things need to be completed and that you're completing them right away. Rather than having to go back in and complete this action later, you can show on your inspection report that you've done the work and that you've noticed that things need to be fixed and that you've done it right away. You can save those and they'll show up as closed action items. I try to tell people all the time, but it's not good if your inspections don't show any corrective actions. When an auditor or a city official comes out and they take a look at those inspections and they notice that there's never anything wrong on your sites, they're automatically gonna think that you're just pencil whipping that, at that inspection and that you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. So having the availability to close that off uh, instead of having to come back into the system and, and do it later is great but you can leave it open and you can send it out to whoever's gonna actually be doing that because one of the wonderful features of Compliance Go is that they can sign that off right out of their email without having to log into the system. So if you have a certain person that, uh, or a certain contracting company that comes and empties the dumpsters or empties the concrete washout or repairs the silt fence or whatever it is, when you assign that action item out and send that out to them, They'll get an email showing that that needs to be done. They can sign off that corrective action right out of their email. You don't have to come back to the site anymore and see if they have taken care of that item. You don't have to come back out during your next inspection and close off all of the action items um, that you don't even know if, if they've been done or not. Sometimes if it's something like sweeping the streets, they might have swept the streets but by the time you get back out there, there's a little bit more dirt or something in the street. So you might assume that they didn't do what you asked them to do, uh, but in reality, they may have done it. They'll be able to go in right from their email. They don't have to have a login. They don't have to have a user account and they can give you notes. They can send you pictures if you want them to. They can show you exactly what's been done. Speaking of pictures and notes, you can add notes to this inspection. You can add attachments if you have some sort of BMP specification or, or some other document that needs to be attached. You can take pictures outside of the action items as well and add those directly in. We've made this super easy so that anybody can just go in, complete what they need to, and be uh, on their way. For a lot of inspectors, using Compliance Go has enabled them to save up to half of the time that they had previously spent doing inspections because they had to fill out a PDF form that was difficult to navigate, or they couldn't attach their pictures and they had to come back and, and download their pictures from their device and upload it to the inspection, or because they had to go back out again to the site to check and make sure that something was completed. Using Compliance Go has enabled them to save up to or even more than 50% of the time that they were spending on stormwater inspections. In Compliance Go, we have the capability to use electronic signatures. This is gonna pull off of your user account so we know that it's you and you're gonna be able to electronically sign these documents. You can go ahead and sign that and send it out. Anybody that you assign to receive that notification is gonna be notified that this inspection has been completed and that it's ready to go. Now I wanna to talk to you a little bit about site maps. Site maps are one of the most difficult things to do on a, on a site. Um, we have to keep this giant map, uh, paper map up on the board. We're using Sharpies to mark out where all of the different uh, BMPs are located. And when that changes, we cross it out and we move it to a different location. And they get torn and they get um, wet and, and it's hard to read because they're all uh, marked up. Well, within Compliance Go, we have the solution right on your phone, your tablet, uh, on your laptop, whatever it is, uh, you can go out and while you're doing your inspection, you can have your inspection up over here and then you can also pull up the site map, which is gonna make it so easy for you to just keep that updated. You can put any type of a shape here that we have and label it whatever you need to. If I need to add, let's say I need to add uh, a dumpster, I have a dumpster here on lot 128. I can resize that shape there. Then I can choose what color I want. I can label it. It's on lot 128. I can add any notes that I need to if I, if I want to do that. Let's say I came out, but they had already added it a couple of days ago. I can backdate that and say I, this was actually added on September 30th 
whatever I need to do. I can save that here. It's going to show up on my map legend. If I have a couple of dumpsters that I want to add, uh, instead of having to redo all of that, I can just grab it from, from the uh, legend right here and I can drop another one right there. It's going to be ready to go. This one was on lot 104. I can save that. So super easy to navigate the map. When I come out, if I see anything that I need to annotate, I can make some notes right here. I can say half full on uh, when I came out and did my inspection today on October 2nd, it was half full. Uh, I can add a picture of it if I need to. I can add any attachments. If this is a different BMP and I have specifications, I can add those specifications right here so that anybody who's looking at this map can pull up the specifications and see exactly how it needs to be properly installed. Um, I can keep track of all of that stuff right here on this map instead of having to hang something on the wall. Uh, when, when that dumpster moves, I can inactivate it right here so it can show that we used to have a dumpster there, but now it's inactive. And then I can add another dumpster. I'll say we moved it to lot 131, moved from 128. It's now on lot 131. We can set the date that we moved at there. We can save that. So now we can show a whole history of what we've done on the site. We used to have a dumpster here. It's not there anymore. We moved it over to here. You can keep track of everything that's been happening on the site. When I get out of the, the map and I go back to my page here in the report section, I can look up my map history report. We'll do that for that map that we were just on. And I can see a complete history of everything that's happened on the site. I can even export this map to a CSV file that I can have ready to show anybody that needs to show a complete history of everything that's gone on on that map. Now tell me that you can do that with a map that's been hanging on the wall and that you've been updating with a Sharpie. Now let's talk about the weather. What is a stormwater inspections management app if it can't track the weather for you? As you can see on our sites here, the weather is always tracked. Now it's kind of dry right now. In the last 24 hours, I've had zero precipitation. The next 48 hours, there's zero chance of precipitation. But in my state, I have to do an extra inspection within 24 hours if my site has received a half inch or more of rain. That might be the same as you. That might be a little different. Within Compliance Go, you can set it up to trigger a weather event no matter what your threshold is. If it's an inch, if it's a half inch, if it's a quarter inch, if it's uh, with, with a 50% forecast of rain, whatever the case may be, you can set up a trigger so that you will be notified as soon as your site has reached that threshold. Our weather data is gathered from NOAA and we have a patent pending tool that we created that we use to track that weather down to within one meter of the grid coordinates of your site. This stops you from having to go out and install a rain gauge and having to check or having to get your weather data from something that's 10 miles away or more that might be giving you bad data. You might know for a fact that it didn't rain on your site, but the place that you're getting your weather data from did get rain, and so it's telling you you have to go out and do an extra rain event. Don't do extra inspections that you don't have to do. You can know for certain if it has rained right on your site. A lot of states, a lot of municipalities, they require a weather log. Well, guess what? We have our site activity report that is a weather log. It will show you exactly what has happened on your site every single day. We got a tiny bit of rain here on the 8th. Uh, we got a little bit more there on the 22nd. You can see our weather log logs for you anytime that there has been a forecasted precipitation or that there has been any rain or weather on your site. You can keep that log without having to go out to your site every day and check, without having to check at a different weather service. It's automatically in here where you do your inspections, where you have everything else for your site. You don't have to go out and check your rain gauge and log that information. All of that information is right here within Compliance Go. So I'm so glad that you've been able to take a quick demonstration of Compliance Go with me. I'm so excited for you to get on and try Compliance Go and see just what a difference it can make. With Compliance Go, your first site is free forever. So you can use Compliance Go as much as you want on one site forever for free. 
I encourage you to go to compliancego.com. Get started now. You can sign up right online. I want you to see just how amazing this software is and how much easier it can make your stormwater inspections. Thank you.